Hey guys, Brenny here, and I have patiently waited for daytime so that we could get this episode going as I- Whoa, I have found a lot of zombies. Oh, that's where they were. I was AFKing over here before, and I kept hearing creepers fall, and I'd have to like flick back to my screen and see if they were killing me or not. Uh, we'll go kill this witch, but from the feedback from the previous episode, you guys were pretty into the idea of me going to the other villages and looting them as... It really does seem that there's not going to be many more diamonds in this. Oh, you want some of this? You want some of this? I've got a bit of left-right going on. You're not going to hit me because I'm the king. I'm the PV... Oh, look at that. we got like a strength... Oh, I thought that was strength. My bad health. Alright, so what we are... Go I wish I got speed potions. That would have been great. We're going to find the villagers. Uh, I... I don't know how far I want to limit myself though. Because like... I could walk and just continuously generate villages and I think that would be really boring so maybe it is villages that we can get inside of and still have this inside I will make that more of a personal goal let me see if my render settings are correct though they are not why do they always do that they just don't want to be perfect for me oh and there we go we should <laughs> now I have no more chunk is that it no that's it um, alright, now I'm really confused because I can't see. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, so let's adventure this way. And we will hopefully find some villagers. Uh, I just want diamonds, really. Like, I want to find some... <laughs> I, I just want some diamonds. That's about it. I definitely just want to find maybe two blacksmiths and get their diamonds. And then I will be pretty happy. I, I plan on villager trading for a bit of diamonds as I know that... That isn't going to give me very many, and diamond gear costs like 24 diamonds, so if I can trade for it, that would be awesome. I know there is one over here, but I don't quite know where. I'll be back when I find it. Okay guys, so not much longer and we have found it. Uh, the chunk is still visible, it's just not loading. It's That's a bit weird, like usually it's been pretty good. Let's see what my RAM's at. I got 4 gig RAM dedicated to this, but this is a huge village. And I do not even think it has a blacksmith area, which is very depressing news. Uh, hopefully it does get an iron golem going. That would be kind of nice to kill like the iron golems that spawn in it. But yeah, I do not think it has a blacksmith. That is not fun, game. All I want is a blacksmith. And then you're just going and doing this to me? I'm like, yep, yeah, I definitely don't think it does. But like, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's cool. You see him up there, guys? I don't even think some people would have seen him then. Let's update the light. Whoa! Alright, there we go. You are actually a, a quite a bright area, my man. Let's get this going. That's cool that the mobs can spawn there. Let's kill some of these guys. And then I'm going to go find another village. I'm sure there will be at least one more visible to the chunk. Even though the chunk isn't loading for me. I want that torch back. You're not getting that torch from me, Mr. Skeleton. Uh, you have fun up there. Oh, I thought they were sitting on each other's head. One thing I wanted to see was how crazy the trades are. Not too bad. Uh, oh, wow! That's a cool one. I actually want to do that. Like, if I had the stuff right now, I would do that. So, yeah. I'm going to keep adventuring, and I'll be back. We have another village coming up, and there's the chunk, just to make sure that you guys don't think I'm jibbing ya. Uh, and I do see a blacksmith, so that's excellent. We can at least jib his furnaces and lava. Uh, not that we- Oh, two! Yes! Alright, happy. I'm happy now. Let's see, let's see. Uh, that's- that's alright. Really would have preferred some diamonds, but okay. <laughs> yeah, that's mine. Like to see you do some smelting of items now, Mr. Villager. And let's adventure over here. And no, no smelting for you either. Let's- I- don't know if stuff ever spawns in there. I may it may be something I've gotten from like Hunger Games. Ah, oh, all right, I get it. I stole your furnaces, and now you don't want to reward me. Let's see, um, shouldn't be anything else here. This one d doesn't even seem like there's people in it. Like, oh, there, there's some. Yeah, there's some. Well, that's that's depressing. I'm gonna go around this next little bit of a corner and see if there's any more, and then we will. Hmm, what goal should I do for this episode? I don't even know. I will decide that. Okay, guys, so there was no more villagers. I've put some torches down and made a little platform here. I noticed I was always jumping into the water and then swimming across. Uh, what we are going to do now is, do I have any? I do not have any. We are going to make some fences 
and a bucket because I believe I do not have, uh, well I have one bucket but I don't have two. Then we're going to get some water and we are going to get started on making, I'm going to put all of this away so that I don't have so much stuff on me. There we go, and that's pretty good, and that's pretty good, and there we go, we'll keep the shears on me, which I don't believe I mentioned. I made them uh, so that if I find a sheep I can sleep, but what I want to do now is get a bucket and another iron ingot. We have like 40 iron here, yeah, we're pretty good to go on iron. Uh, well, we are, oh, whoops, I needed three of that to make another bucket. And then we're going to get some water, we're going to make some uh, huge sugar cane farms so that we can produce a lot of sugarcane to trade with the villagers in the closest village. I, in the future, I would like to, but I don't know how far this uh, series will go before we beat the dragon, because it's not actually that hard, but we could always take it further than that. Uh, what I would like to do is have the reed farms, oh, I, I suppose I could actually make them go all the way to the, um, the village, but I have a transport system because there's going to be so much sugarcane reeds, whatever you want to call it. I always call it reeds, and I'm pretty sure that's not the name of it, so that's always great to call it the wrong name. Let's scoot McToot down here, and we will land on this little platform here. Then we will go to actually, uh, oh, did I make an unlimited water source in my house? I feel like I did. No, no, all good. I kind of thought that I was being really stupid by going all the way back up there. We will have an unlimited water source here, and then I'll also make one down there. Uh, as you can see, those torches are extremely helpful, and I'm very happy I placed them. Uh, this wa water will be now stopped, as I do not want it here anymore. And we will collect all of these, which oh, super way to break them. Wow! You could have like a water system that takes away the water, and then does that. Although, you're still going to have to replant them either way. All right, so let's see how much space we have to work with here. So we'll start off by doing it here and we will put the water about here, I think. All right, so that I think is the maximum it can travel. Yeah, I thought so. And then we will take this side the maximum it can travel. And that's how we're gonna have this going as, I know I could do an unlimited water source and make it huge, but we'll do it like a big square. Uh, now, how do I, I want to line it up so it's like that, one there, another one there, so the next, like, gap will have to be here, and then we're pretty good to go. It really would be easier if I did this with unlimited water sources now, I'm thinking, although it looks like, it looks more technical if I don't do that, which is, for some reason, a big factor in my head right now. Uh, what we will do is we'll put the wall two blocks away because we do not want the... That's where the sugar cane will be, so one, two. Now that's technically not two because I want it to be two away from the sugar cane. So that's where we'll have it. And then we'll have it two away downwards, which is here, I think. Yep, excellent. And excellent. And oh, I thought it was becoming daytime, but we just got some really good lighting going on. All right, and then I'm going to make that go all the way across there, which is going to be great. We're going to be producing a lot of sugarcane uh, for trading. And I, if I can find some sheep, I would like to put uh, wool on the top so that it doesn't fall in. Although, if it does fall in, I will just go to the corners and collect it. I could even go so far as adding uh, hoppers in there to collect it up, which I just may do because that's, that's the thing with... Uh, collecting the sugarcane is it's annoying to collect so if I have a automated way of doing that that would be great uh, not that it will be 100% automated let's put these here whoa whoa settle down sniper oh what do you got what do you got from a long distance they're actually not that good oh that one was a bit quicker anyway yeah I'm gonna get farming uh, I might go up there and look for some cheap but I'll, uh, some cheap <laughs> some sheep but I'll, I'll, I'll let you be on that adventure with me Okay guys, so I have finished off my little reed farm. Uh, it's pretty big, I don't know how much uh, reeds it will produce, or sugarcane, but it is a, oh, I do have it on me. It is enough for uh, some villager trading, I believe. I would like to, I wanted to put wool along uh, where the water is, but I think uh, half slabs will work just as good. But when I was uh, venturing around, I was looking for sheep, uh, just because I wanted the wool, but then I realized I'd need to breed them. So that's the design I've gone with for now. How much would it be? Uh, 
I think it goes out eight in that direction, and then seven and seven with one in the middle. So that's like 15 times, uh, how many are here? Three, six, nine, 12, uh, 14, I believe. So I don't know what that would be, but it's a fair bit uh, producing of uh, the sugar canes. But let's go up here, and I wanted to adventure through, there was a cave I found before, but I ran out of torches as I was going through it. I will stash away my stuff though before we go there, so sadly I'm going to have to climb up this ladder again. I also had a pretty cool idea to do with uh, getting mobs down here. What I want to do is build a offhang rail, like so. And it will be like this, and then it will have a wall like this like that and then we will go and this this is in my head it works but I don't know if it will actually work with the mobs so so we'll do a design down here and then uh, I may make it in the future up at the top and then it may work or it may not work so we'll do something like this and then we will uh, lure the mobs in here there will be maybe a gate or something I don't really know how I want that to work but once the mobs are in there, I'll have a button that will drop all of these at once and then they'll fall into water down below. And I think that's cool because it can be a controlled drop. So I don't think they'll fly out and hit the ground. I think they'll be able to hit a 4x4 water uh, space. And I thought that was a pretty cool idea and I might give that a shot. I've just got to look into getting the redstone. How would the redstone work? Could I just do something like this and then have a button? We'll make a lever because levers are a lot easier to test stuff with. Uh, there we go. And let's see. Yeah, so the, the redstone doesn't power it there. And I can't really exactly have it like that anyway because I have to have half slabs around the top. So we'll make some half slabs. Which, how much cobblestone? I have a fair bit of cobblestone. I could definitely half slab off the uh, reed farm. Uh, Sugarcane farm. God, so bad at remembering that. And that would be like that. And then there'd be like a gate here that would do something with, I think I'd just use two, uh, two of those gate blocks. What are they called? I forget what they are. Two of these. Them ones. Fence gate. That's it. Make two of them. There we go. And wow, this is coming together quite easily. And oh, I could even have it inverted. So, oh, actually I'd probably have it just so I do these manually. It would make it easier on me, but these, when they are opened, don't render as anything. So getting mobs in them is a lot easier than if you use two doors. Uh, I never really thought about it like that. I've only really gotten into using these recently with mob farms uh, on the Skyblock server. All right, see, if, I think if I break this, yeah, it's definitely what is holding uh, the fence gate thing there. Is that, wait, wait, trap door, that's it. I remember when they were added, they were, um, I don't know, they weren't that much of an addition. They didn't really add too much to the game until uh, you could, I used items on them. I remember that. I had like an item switch thing that I made and I was so proud of myself. I think that video may still be up on my channel. That was old school, younger Brenny. All right, so that would, that theory there seems to work. We just need to be able to power the fence gates, which seems to be a lot harder to do than I thought it would be. What if I had, if I have power directly going into that block, does it hit the one beside it? Which I'm really getting annoyed with falling down from here. Don't know where I got this redstone from, to be honest. I feel like it was one of those, I was just, oh, really? All it does is rain in this world, God. Does that open two or one? Oh, it only opens one, really? So I could do something like this, I think. Um, do this. And then that should be able to open the bottom one as... Oh, I was hoping that would hit the other one. Why isn't that... Huh. So that's hitting the direct block. Yeah, that's... Does that hit them both? It doesn't. I'm pretty confident it doesn't. Yeah. Ah, oh, well that's... But you guys get my theory. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, the reason I was looking for sheep was to make a bed as well. I totally forgot that. Alright, let's put all of this stuff away. I will get out some wood to make... Oh, do I have any wood? Oh, I've got an axe on me, so we're all good with the wood situation. And I will wait till it is stop, uh, It has stopped raining, and then we will go on a adventure to find some sheep and uh, go into a cave I found, which I'll show you guys shortly too. Okay, guys, so I have decided a new rule to my uh, series, at least on this server, is that I can toggle downfall. Uh, as the rain keeps coming, and you know what I do? I just 
I minimize the game and have sounds on and when I hear it stop I start playing again and it's like well that's almost the same as toggling it off I don't do anything I'm, I'm not gonna do stuff during the rain I'm gonna maybe if it starts raining when I'm out here I will uh, my the rule to doing toggle downfall is that I can have to be in a safe area to do it first like obviously if there's monsters attacking me and spawning around me I have to fight them off first uh, I think that's a fair rule, and I think you guys would be pretty happy with that and cool with that. I've heard word from people that the uh, the chest is in a tree, so that's um I don't know why I'm like it just it, I think that's the reason why I always go to this jungle side. Uh, also, I feel like animals spawn in jungle trees better, which is stupid because like I've seen them. Have you guys ever seen an animal in the tree block like the uh, the leaves? I think it looks funny. Uh, I reckon that chest would be at the top of one of these trees let's um adventure up there and the thing with this world is cheats modes is on which i i don't mind uh because i don't cheat like you guys are gonna see most of the stuff that happens but people still call me a cheater you know they still will do it and it's like well i i suppose dog toggle downfall is quite nice to have and it, it's semi a cheat Alright, so there's nothing up here. There's Oddly, that block is exposed more than I think it normally is. Let's adventure over to this tree. Look at me tree parkouring like a king. We'll break this one. In doing so, we'll get on top of this one. And then we'll be able to get on top of this tree. And I'm hoping this is the one with the chest. Oh my god, it's such an adventure to get up on too. Uh, we'll go there. Oh no, I just broke one of the blocks I was on. Alright, it's alright. I feel like I'm playing the Hunger Games where you like you can break the leaves. Ah, oh, really? Do you guys see any? <gasps> Is that it? No, I think that's just a uh, a log, but it could be it. Can't see any animals, but I might be too high. They might not be in my render distance. You guys got this? I'm gonna make that jump. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Yes! I was really confident then. Like I would have done that in the hardcore. That's how confident I was. I possibly wouldn't have though, because let's think about it. Like, is it worth losing my hardcore for uh, a really bad jump? I really need to record some more hardcore. I feel like I'm falling behind in all of my content. I added one extra series and then I start. <gasps> a sheeper! Uh, then I, yeah, start sucking. Aw, oh, well, I wasn't as confident in that jump. I just figured, like, what's the, what's the loss? Just power through here. Shear this sheep. Is that another one over there? I think that is another one over there. So we will have enough wool for a sleeping bit. A sleeping bed. A bed to sleep on. Oh, it may not have been a sheep. But I thought I may have accidentally put these away when I was using my chest. Oh, really? Ah, oh, two's alright. I'm happy with two. There's another sheep there anyway. 360 vine stall. I actually did that pretty good. Oh, no. Actually, that's that's actually alright. There we go. And then we'll get this one. And we have five. Get this one, just because I can. And then we'll have seven. Alright, so we've got the bed, wool for a bed, which is A-OK, -okay, so if it's night time now, we're pretty good. Uh, now we need to find that cave, which I totally forgot, I've lost, I've lost my bearings! Uh, ooh, squiddy. Let's see, I believe down this way would be the cave. Is that tree flying? That tree is flying! It's a, it's a different tree, it likes to be, ah, oh, actually no, my chunks just aren't loading. Alright, whatever Minecraft, I don't want them to load. I don't even like when my chunks load. I actually, I don't blame Minecraft, it's fraps. It, it truly is, uh, it's, it's such a weird issue that like a recording device. Oh, I found out how to unlimit my F FPS. I've recently been noticed that I'm running at, uh, oh, not here, uh, 60 on the dot. And it's this use VSync thing. When you turn it off, your FPS goes higher, which may actually fix the chunk loading. So we'll, we'll give that a shot with it off. I'm still locked at 60 because of fraps, but when I'm not recording, it will go up to like 400 and stuff, which is excellent. All right, um, there it is. There's my cobblestone marker, which it's becoming no night time is coming. Let's chop down this tree. We'll make a bed. Uh, we'll make the bed, power nap here, and then we will go to that cave and battle. We will battle all the mobs. There we go. Oh, jungle wood is so ugly. I hate jungle wood. There we go. Pop that bed down can sleep at night. That's right, I can. Right now is night. Look at me. Look at me looking at this beautiful tree. Break that, and I will keep the crafting bench there. I'm really disappointed that, like, the beds are still messed up. Like, I thought that would be a really quick, easy patch. 
I just I, a lot of people have told me what it is, but I keep forgetting. I'm I'm very forgetful recently. All right, let's go to this block because this is uh what's happened is the sands caved in into the cave, and I figured that would be the best way to mark the hole because I actually found it. I believe over there the entrance is. I could have actually found it easier this way uh that way, but I knew that this marker would be extremely helpful in the future, and it was. I've went a bit through this cave, not too crazily, because I did run out of torches, like I said. Uh, and I was really just looking for iron. That's why I have extra iron smelting. You guys may have seen the furnace on. Or I may have put it on in front of you guys. I don't quite remember. Alright, let's have a look-see. We've got a nice... It goes really deep down there, so I think what we'll do is we'll go to that deeper area. Because we definitely want to see if we can find some ores. I'd really, uh, like to know... Do the- Oh! Welcome to Pound Town! <laughs> do the, uh, ores get put in- So, I assume it goes dirt, uh, dirt, stone, water, and then ores. That's how I assume the game spawns all that stuff. And, I was thinking about it. With the caves, does it dig the caves out first? Because, I think that- Oh, oh, you scared me. I feel like caves would be last. Ah, oh, ah, oh, no. I need to block this off. That's getting annoying. I've only been here for two seconds, but it's already getting annoying. All right, let's look over here. See if we have any lo- Ah, uh, we don't have any lower down. We have- Looks as if we have a cave there. I could- Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh, I was hoping- I was really hoping I wouldn't die there. Oh, bed has been obstructed. Uh, where do you go? Ooh! There's ores here. I feel like I what I did die here, but I don't quite know where. Maybe, I really think it's like right over there where I've died. I hope I can get my stuff back. That wasn't a very fun cave adventure, to be honest. I was hoping to tower down. I did place a block on the wall, didn't I? We don't have long to get my stuff back. I gotta find it quickly. Um, I think my best bet would be to retrace my steps. Uh, oh yeah, it is on the other side. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna climb up the ladder. And then I will go back into the cave, and then I'll be back. Cow in the leaves! Alright, so we are halfway through. We just need to run to the other side here. And I need to find a way down quickly. So what I think I will do is break a block, and then the water will allow me to go down. Uh, I'm hoping that's quick enough, though, because like I honestly could lose my stuff right here. And that will bum me out, because I just got a bed, and that bed was on me. So it's not as if I can be like, oh, I got some more iron, I'll just make some new gear. There's the crafting bench, so we definitely are near where we were. Excellent. There's there's the tree we had cut down previously. Look, I just profited some oak saplings, so it's all good now. Alright, is that some water there spilling? Excellent. Oh, and there's exactly where we have died. Whoa! That was a bit close, but I don't think I would have died either way. Let's get all of our stuff back. No biggie. No death right there. Now what I want to do is go into a cave here. And we'll see what's in that cave. Let me throw all this gear back on quickly. Sort out my inventory. I've been doing this recently uh, to sort through my inventory. Like that, I'll put as one. And I don't, I don't know. It was working for me earlier, and like, it just, it didn't seem faster, but it seemed more smart. I don't know. I, I might be really silly sounding right now. Let's get some more baked potatoes. I'm running low on food. That is quite a issue as. I don't even have any more wheat to eat. Uh, we might have to go back to the villages, which is all good. Um, venture up here. This is the smartest idea. Placing wood near lava. Because lava won't burn it at all. And nothing in that cave. So let's go to this cave. I didn't want to use my cobble. Because I, for some reason I felt like that was more important at this current point of time. Which was probably stupid of me. Uh, what do we got here? We have a bit of cavage over there, so let's go to that cave. Place this in the lava. No biggie. No, skeleton! You're gonna shoot me into lava and I'm not gonna enjoy it. Got you! Whoa! No, I didn't! <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Alright, got him real good. There we go. Let's venture down. See, we have ores, but I haven't found any diamonds. Like, where's the diamonds at? Do I have a bucket of water? Oh, I don't have a bucket of water on me. Why would I forget a bucket of water? I usually always bring a bucket of I want this gold for some reason. I really want it. I always bring a bucket of water on me, guys. That's so silly of me. Let's get this redstone. And look through here. I'm really not thinking there's going to be any diamonds here. What height are we at? We're at 16. So this is like diamond height and lower. 
and there doesn't seem to be any. Let me uh, build a platform out here. We'll see. I won't make this platform out of wood because I'm going to be standing on it. Yeah, it does not seem to be any diamonds here. And I think that's going to be where we end our episode. The, the no- Oh no! Our burning bridge! <laughs> there we go. That The episode's going to be called The Burning Bridge. It's going to be the best name for our episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. There's the other burning bridge. And goodbye!